So one really powerful way to change the way your video looks from your home office is to add a green screen as a means of sort of replacing what may or may not be an ideal solution for your office communication um, with some other background or just simply a color wash to make it look a little more professional. The first thing I'm going to need to do, however, in this space is set up a green screen. All right, so now that I have a green screen set up behind me, although somewhat imperfectly, uh, let's fix our, our view so that uh, the green screen isn't, well, it's blocking everything it needs to. Uh, so to do that, I'm just gonna go in and adjust the property. Oh, I can't do that because that's not the cam, I need the camera. There we go. I'm gonna just go update this camera by adjusting the properties. Uh, by configuring video. Here, I'll bring that onto screen. Just zoom in because my camera does support this. So we'll do that. So there's my zoom in. We'll hit apply. Okay, now, so in order to use the green screen, I need to set up a chroma key on a particular scene. If I set the chroma key on the camera itself, that means that I have to edit the camera uh, between different scenes if I choose to turn it on or turn it off for different purposes. So what I do usually do is I create an additional scene called green and in green, I add my camera scene. So now all I've done is duplicated my camera. I have one camera that's got the webcam and I have one green screen that's got the camera. Here's why I do that. When I go to my primary screen now with camera set, I could also add my green. Now, they serve the same purpose. Uh, they look identical because they are identical functionally. But on my green screen, I can right click on that in, this, in, this, in the uh, scene where it's configured and I can go to filters. And under filters, I can add a chroma key by adding chroma. When I add a chroma key, I can then choose, do I want it to be a blue screen, a green screen, magenta, or any other color? So I could, if I had an office with a yellow wall behind me, I could replace that yellow wall with something else, as long as I'm not wearing yellow. Uh, you'll, you'll see if I select magenta, parts of my shirt go see-through. That's not going to work. Oh, apparently my lips are magenta also. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll go with the green screen. Now, you'll see there's a little bit of noise, even though my background is not perfect. It's, it's not terrible, but there's a little bit of noise that shows up around my shoulder. I can adjust the smoothness uh, as well as similarity to alter sort of the, the points that the system believes are green. Uh, when I've got it close, and I'm going to say, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm fine with this for the moment. Uh, you'll see now, because I haven't defined a background, it's just gone black. By defining now an image, by selecting image, add exist, oh, I don't have any existing, so I'll create a new one. I'll just call this background. Okay, it's going to take me to a picker, and now I can go to my E drive where I keep all my OBS stuff. Go to my assets miscellaneous and I can say, oh, here's an office background that I could use. And now drop that below my cameras. And so now I my my camera is set up inside an office environment. Now, movement obviously the better lit the background is, the better the green screen will work. The more flat it is, the better the green screen will work. But even at a minimum, this is a perfectly passable green screen. It functions just like you would expect it to. 
The reason we suggest using this technique for a green screen rather than the built-in zoom green screen technique um, or the techniques in some of the other chat apps, the more your background moves around, you'll see right over my shoulder here, and this could be caused uh, by lighting more than anything else, but that little bit of flicker, zoom picks up on that. And what you'll see is if you choose a green screen and zoom, if you move your head, giant blocks will form where the green screen is having trouble keeping up. The reason that's a problem is that the more pixels that change within your scene, the slower your video will travel because it has to be compressed, sent and decompressed to be put into the actual conference. Therefore, the better you filter upfront what you're going to send, the better the resulting video will be on the other, send, uh, other end of the connection for your viewers. So this is how I set up my green screens in OBS. Um, it absolutely makes life easy uh, to be able to change um, either backgrounds on the fly or uh, as just as desired. Hey, I can go on the moon. There we go. Oh, that's a huge picture. Here, I'm going to have to scale that down to make it work. But I definitely want to be on the moon. There we go. I'll just take that and drop it behind as a background. Keep going down a little bit. And uh, now if I ever have another conference where, you know, I have space junkies with me, well, I could be on the moon. Just like that. OBS and green screen is a great combination. There's a reason the software works so well for this purpose. And it's because OBS is designed for streamers. It's designed for people who are actively uh, streaming content online. Again, biggest things to think about. Not one light source up there, but two. That'll help get rid of this uh, shadow that's showing up on the screen. Or at least another light lighting the green screen. Two, get the green screen as close to you as possible without throwing really hard shadows. You can see the shadow of my hand back there, uh, right over there. You see it moving around. That makes your video a little slower. And again, keeping things clean and, and tight will help your video look better uh, while keeping your bandwidth use in check. So there you go. That's how you set up a green screen in OBS. Cheers. Greg here. I'm on the moon just out the window there uh, to the moon base uh, there's some guys out there working actually I think I think, I think Bob's out there hey, hey Bob are you how's, you good all right cool all right um, yeah I'm on the moon really I am <laughs>